Dr. Joanna Barstow. I'm from the University of Oxford. Um, I'm here because I, I believe that science is vital and um, I'm concerned that some of the best people will choose to leave this country and go and work elsewhere and we will lose um, the amazing science community we have. So my name is Andrea Sala. I'm a professor of chemistry at UCL. I'm here because I feel that science underpins everything that uh, goes on in the UK. It is one of the most sort of creative areas of society. And above all, it provides us on the one hand with evidence with which to, on which to base policy. But secondly, it's this slow burn thing in discovery which will eventually turn into technology. And in the same way as of course Michael Faraday when he was asked you know, about electricity and what use it might be. He said he had no, no idea, but he said one day you may tax it. Um, well, I think very much, you know, what we're looking at in the long term is the UK's prosperity. Why is science vital? Uh, pragmatically, it's vital. My name is Maya Elliott. I'm here because I didn't know any of the facts about scientific funding um, until I heard about this event and I started to look it up. And actually, I was very shocked um, by how little funding there is for science and actually that there are threats that it's going to be reduced. So that is why I'm here. Do you know that one in five of the UK workforce, workforce is employed in science? Uh, Chris Ward, place. I'm a senior mobile developer. I'm here uh, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, it's very, very important that we oppose science cuts. 40% uh, is utterly ridiculous at a time we need science more than ever. We need science for medicine, we need science for all sorts of common endeavours that are important to humanity. We're all here because uh, we all think that uh, science is the basis that this country is going to go forward. Uh, without the scientific uh, innovation and the technology that goes with it, uh, we're just going to fall behind in the World League with globalisation being the name of the game. My name is Sue Duncan. I'm here, I'm a um, Cancer Campaigns Ambassador, a volunteer role for Cancer Research UK. And I feel absolutely passionate that government needs to maintain investment in science in the UK. In order to rebuild the economy, we had to invest more, not less, in science. I'm a PhD student at Imperial working in high energy physics. I'm here because I, mean, I think there are several strands. One strand that you get back immediately is the spin-offs from trying to do things people haven't tried to do before. In my own strand of research uh, at CERN, uh, we had a data access problem that we needed to share data all around the world. And we developed the World Wide Web to sort that out. We had a user interface problem for operating the detectors that we use, so the touchscreen was developed to, to help operate uh, the machinery. Um, and so that's immediate benefits. And the other benefits are that if you research into science, you get the really world-changing things. At the beginning of the 20th century, quantum physics research was kind of really blue skies, no one knew what it was for, and now in everyone's pocket are devices which rely on it uh, to work every day. So uh, I think you get both immediate outcomes and really big long-term changes. <laughs> Sorry.